About a year and a half ago, Jennifer Anderson was a new mom and was also diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Oh, you hear the word cancer and you freak out a little bit like, am I gonna die? You know, I just had this son, like I need to like be around for him. So there's nothing on this ultrasound that would make me worry about you having cancer recurrence. Jennifer underwent surgery on her thyroid and after that received treatment with radioactive iodine. For me, the iodine was definitely something that reassured me that it was killing any other cells there might have been. We found that over time there's been an increase in the use of radioactive iodine and we found that there's wide variation in the use. Dr. Megan Haymart from the University of Michigan and co-authors studied close to 85 percent of all thyroid cancer patients in the United States. Using information from a national cancer database, researchers found these patients were treated at 981 hospitals between 1990 and 2008. It isn't just your disease severity, but it's also where you get your care that makes a difference in what treatment you receive. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The wide variation that we saw at the hospital level suggests that there's some uncertainty about which patients should be treated with radioactive iodine. Researchers looked at both high and low risk patients. In patients with high risk iodine avid tumors, radioactive iodine can improve their outcome. However, in the lower risk patients, radioactive iodine has risk that may outweigh the benefit. I feel back to normal and I really hadn't felt that way in, you know, one or two years. Now, Jennifer is looking forward to expanding her family. I am looking forward to more babies and <laughs> um, a long, healthy life. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.